Amen. We thank you for your gifts. For with your gifts and your hard work, we're going to make Cedar Grove the best house on the block. There's a lot of new things coming, a lot of new things happening, and we're going to keep that going with your help. Amen. Amen. At this time, we'll go to the Lord in prayer, but I need to do something else first. If you are going back to school, either tomorrow or September, I want you to come to the altar right now. If you're going back to school, because we're going to pray over our young ones. Years ago, I would have said it, but I'm not going to say it now. Amen. Amen. And I want the parents to come up also to stand behind your child. Or if you don't have a child up here, stand behind them and let's lay some hands on them. Father some of us are starting something very new Lord some of us are leaving home to go away to school Lord we need you to put a hedge of protection on them Lord let them take what they have learned from you Lord for they are going into something very new Precious Father, we have some who are going to the next grade. Some are going to a new school. So, Lord, we ask you for protection them also, Lord. For we know, Lord, the devil is trying to steal, kill, and destroy. He's trying to hurt and harm to hinder their progress. So, Lord, what we need you, Lord, is to be their shield, to be their rock, to be there for them when they call out your name, Lord. They know you will be there. They know you will answer them. They know they are protected. They know they are loved. Heavenly Father, we also pray for our teachers, Lord. Because they do have a hard job. They are teaching our children. And Lord, our children are very important to us, Lord. They are everything for us, Lord. They are our future. So we just ask you, Lord, just to protect them, Lord. And Lord, and also for the parents, Lord, who got to send their children away. For we know we don't want to send our kids away. We, we know they got to grow up and get out sooner or later. But Lord, sometimes it's just too soon. And we may not be ready. But Heavenly Father, we just ask you, Lord, to watch over them, Lord. Keep them. Protect them, Lord. Lord, let them have wisdom. Lord, let, it, let their ears be open so that when they see something wrong, when they hear something wrong, they could get away from it, Lord. So, so many kids, they go away from school and some, unfortunately, don't come back home and they come home changed. So, Heavenly Father, we just ask you, Lord, to bless these children up here, Lord. Bless our teachers, Lord. And also, Lord, bless the parents, Lord. Lord, they did all they could do, Lord. They have taught their children everything they could. And now it's time for them to go out on their own, Lord. So, Lord, just give them the strength, Lord, to keep moving. Give them the power, Lord, to resist that devil, Lord. Let their eyes always rest on you, Heavenly Father. For you, Lord, are our all in all. You, Lord, are the Alpha and the Omega. You, Lord, are the beginning and the end, Lord. 
For Lord, we have some of the smartest, most beautiful children in DeKalb County. And we want them, Lord, to succeed in all things, Lord. But we know, Lord, success starts with you. So we'll keep our eyes focused on you. And we'll keep doing your will. We'll keep doing what you want us to do. And we're going to stand behind our children. We're going to help our children. So even if they stumble, we'll be there to pick them up, Lord. For we are there for them and we love them, Lord. We, Lord, we thank you for their blessing, for they've been a bless on us. In Jesus Christ we pray, amen. Our scripture this morning is found in the gospel of Jesus Christ as told by Matthew. That's Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 to 22. That's Matthew chapter 4, 18 to 22. And when you find it, would you please rest on your feet? That's Matthew Chapter 4, 18 to 22. And let's begin the reading of his word. As Jesus walked alongside Galilee Sea, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, throwing fishing nets into the sea because they were fishermen. Come, Follow me, he said, and I'll show you how to fish for people. Right away, they left their nets and followed him. Continuing on, he saw another set of brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with Zebedee, their father, repairing their nets. Jesus called them, and immediately they left the boat and their father, father and followed him. This, my brother and sister, is the word of God for the people of God. Amen. You may be seated. 